At this time of year, every year, people all over the United States eat a huge meal, watch a lot of football, and confess all of the things for which they are thankful. Typically, these confessions of thankfulness are made in an awkward ritual before the eating of roast turkey and pumpkin pie and cranberry sauce which holds the exact shape of the can right down to the ripples in the metal. It'll be time for roasted turkey on Thursday. Right now, it's time for some roasted opinions, holiday style. I guess that I should be thankful that I'm still alive, based on how often my kids have taken to reminding me that I'm old. 45 is old now, folks. Mark it down, my middle-aged friends, and prepare to fall over dead at any minute. My hair is thinning and turning gray, a sure sign that death will come for me on swift wings any moment now. I should also count my lucky stars that I now have golfer's elbow. Such a blessing, I tell you. The fact that I've never played golf in my life makes no difference, apparently. At least it's not cancer, which my previously mentioned receding hairline indicates to some is just around the corner. I'm grateful that I only forget some things. I only have to remember one script idea per week, after all, so the up to 15 partially finished scripts are immaterial. I don't have to remember my name. People remind me of it every day. I'm still trying to figure out if Jerk is my first name, a middle name, a last name, or just a nickname, but I'm pretty sure that it's in there somewhere. I thank the stars above for my loss of hearing. It's so annoying to be able to hear all of the muttered slights about my age, after all. Sure, I lost the ability to whisper quietly in a library, but I'm pretty certain that the young people on the floors above and or below the one I'm currently on appreciate knowing just where to find the section on oriental woodworking. I'm grateful for no-line bifocals. I'm certain that they were invented so that the extra weight of lens wouldn't pull my glasses off of my face. It's also helped with my lack of nodding, as I now have to tilt my head up and down to make sure that I'm using the correct portion of my glasses to focus at different distances. I have to show my gratitude for the slow but steady decline in my libido. It's nice to not be interested in sex all of the time, especially since I already have enough kids. I have enough of them now that if one of them forgets to remind me that I'm old, then there's always another one ready to take up the slack. Yes, they have the basis covered on reminding me, for which I'm profoundly grateful since they also remind me that one of my names is Dad. I'm thankful that I'm not a boomer or a millennial. Just one of those average Joe types from Generation X. No one remembers me as the source of any of the world's problems, and no one expects for me to solve anything. If I get a tattoo, I don't have to get it on my face to maintain my edge. I also don't have to grow my hair out below my shoulders and pull it back in a ponytail in order to convince myself that I'm still trendy and edgy if I do happen to be going a little bit bald. Gen Xers don't really do either trendy or edgy, for which both I and my wallet are profoundly grateful. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about being alive at 45. I'm deeply grateful for where I am in life right now, because life could be far worse. I'm not starving or cold or sick, and neither is my family. There are a lot of people out there in the world who are hungry, clad in layers of worn-out clothing and hoping that the cough that they have is just a cough. I'm not living on the street. The lights in my house work. So does the heat and the water. In fact, I'm truly grateful for being able to relax in a steaming hot bathtub with a mug of black coffee. I'm grateful that I have the time and resources necessary to just relax. I'm grateful that I have more good in my life than bad. By far and away, more good than bad. I'm grateful for the struggles I face to balance work, parenting, a little downtime, and running a YouTube channel. I'm grateful that I live in a nation where so many people reach out to help others in the spirit of volunteerism. I'm grateful that generosity hasn't become a foreign concept, yet. It could be worse. Far worse. It is for many people all over the world. I'm sure that some of you are a little shocked to hear that I am so interested in helping out the less fortunate. After all... I'm a cranky old conservative jerk who opposes things like Medicare for All and student loan forgiveness. Yes, I oppose these things, but that doesn't mean that I oppose access to basic human needs or helping people along as they try to achieve prosperity and repay heavy debt loads. Perhaps we should remember more than just what we are grateful to have. Perhaps, at the onset of the holiday season, we should all reach out and give our fellow human beings something of ourselves. 
It doesn't have to be expensive. The most profound gratitude I've encountered is that of someone who unexpectedly received just the right small gift at just the right time. Remember that as you make plans to dig into that plateful of turkey. Maybe you have a little money to spare to provide meals for those who can't afford them this season. Maybe you have a few hours to spare to lend a hand. Or decent clothes that you don't wear anymore just hanging in a closet that could be donated. Maybe you could just call your family and friends to say hi once in a while so that they can hear the voice of someone who is thinking of them fondly. The good feeling we get when we help someone out is something we can all truly be grateful for. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.